Jennifer Smith. I'm the Vice President of Human Resources for Clark Dietrich. Uh, my primary responsibilities include all things HR, so employee relations, recruiting, succession planning, training and development, uh, compensation and benefits, really all facets of the human resources profession. There's not a typical day in the office. Um, you know, there's a lot of variety within HR. So, you know, you could be handling, you know, open enrollments and benefit questions, or we may be having an employee event. There also could be, you know, an employee relations issue you need to help a manager or an employee with. Uh, no two days um, in human resources is the same. Um, it's why I like my job so much. Um, it can be challenging at times, but it also can be very rewarding. Our human resources team consists of 20 individuals. The 20 folks are scattered across the country at our locations in our corporate office. Uh, we have two HR directors, one which is responsible for uh, field uh, employee relations. The other one is responsible for more corporate activities. Our HR team also handles our payroll and our HRIS efforts across the uh, country. Uh, we also handle compensation and benefits. Uh, we have a team of folks that are at the facilities and really are there to be a resource for the employees in the field to make sure that they have questions answered if they're having problems that we're there to assist. At Clark Dietrich, we focus on diversity, equity, equity, and inclusion by really focusing on employees feeling like they belong. And when I talk about belonging, I mean, do they have friends at work? Do they have a trusted advisor, maybe a mentor or a, a buddy that can help them with questions? Are they having, you know, fun? Are they able to bring their whole self to work and be celebrated? You know, I also, we also have a DEI champion group. It's a voluntary group that we, um, we have meetings about once a month. We may have an outside speaker to learn, learn more about the space, or we may just be talking about what's going on in the world and the impact that has on different groups of people. We're all different. We all have unique characteristics. We all, you know, have different opinions and you know being able to express yourself um, being able to ask questions without fear uh, really enables us to have a um, workforce that is able to learn more and grow more as a result I think it's important to foster an inclusive workforce or workplace because when people feel like they're included and like they belong, they're more willing to um, you know, speak up and give ideas, maybe even to a problem that you may not know that you had. It also you know, aids in retention, it, it aids in attraction. Uh, when people know that you care about them and you know, you're willing to train and develop and include them in the decision-making process, that's good for everybody. People have a lot of different talents. And when you include them, you never know what that answer to that challenge may be. The greatest challenge over the last few years in creating an inclusive workplace has been the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic didn't enable us to have you know, team activities. We weren't able to do some of the engagement activities that we were once able to. Team meetings, KPIs, uh, those types of things, we had to spread folks out. And that was the right thing to do. Um, but now that the COVID-19 pandemic is winding down um, and folks feel like they're able to travel and we're able to have you know, in-person meetings and engagement activities, and those types of things. We're really gonna focus on you know, bringing the workforce back together, 
um, creating that teamwork atmosphere and really fostering a fun environment uh, through different engagement activities. At Clark Dietrich, we've approached finding and retaining employees in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, in order to attract employees here, we, you know, make sure that our wages are competitive, of course. Uh, we also, you know, try to have our employees help us recruit. We've tried several different things, from sign-on bonuses, to referral bonuses, to job fairs. I think the important thing here is that there's not necessarily a prescription for getting people in your door. You have to do a lot of things. You just have to have a good reputation, too, in the area that you're in. In order to retain employees, we're back to engaging with our folks. We just sent out a Pulse survey. You know, we want to listen to our employees. We want to hear what they have to say about the work and the environment um, that we're creating. Um, we want to ensure that we're creating opportunities for folks to engage with one another through fun. You know, I think it's just important too to have some fun at work. There are several reasons to work for Clark Dietrich. Uh, two that come to my mind first are our culture and our developmental programs. When I talk about culture, we try to foster an environment where employees feel welcome, where they can share ideas, where they can express concerns. They may have a creative solution to a problem that we have. When I talk about developmental opportunities, I mean we invest in our, our people. We have training programs um, you know, across the company in different areas. We have reimbursement opportunities, both for you know, college tuition, a professional certification reimbursement program. Uh, we have training, whether it's online and on demand, or in live, in person. Uh, training opportunities for folks. Um, you know, we take the time, we want to invest in our folks, we want to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them about their career and their career progression, and we certainly want you to join the family. My advice for companies looking to attract, retain, and engage um, talent is to try everything. Um, you know, over the last several years, we've all faced the same challenges through labor shortages and different things. You have to be willing to try something, and if it doesn't work, pivot and try something else. We've hosted job fairs. Um, we've, you know, worked with organizations that we hadn't worked with before and may not have known that they existed prior to, um, you know, the last few years. We've tried to get in schools. We maybe weren't as successful during the beginning stages of COVID. But we've, you know, getting in and getting in front of both parents and students and letting folks know that your careers are viable and that there's a career progression and that you can be successful um, in the industry is another avenue. You know, I look at retention and engagement as kind of two in the same. People have to, you know, feel like what they're doing has meaning. Are we really um, you know, engaging them and asking them for what, they're, uh, what, what they would do when we have an issue? How would you solve it? We have a program here at Clark Dietrich that's called Creative Solutions, and we really want creative solutions from everybody. Um, it's a quarterly award that we give away, and we've gotten a lot of great ideas um, submitted to the program. Letting folks really know you do care is important. Clark Dietrich is putting uh, Time for What Matters into practice within the company um, by our workplace programs. Uh, two programs come to mind. The first one is Clark Dietrich Cares. Clark Dietrich Cares is a um, program that we have where we award or grant um, employees a day off in order to do a community service project of their choice. Um, whether it's something um, that's near and dear to their heart or whether they choose to do a group activity that we organize, such as Habitat for Humanity, uh, reaching out and, and working in food banks or at a homeless shelter, those types of things. The second program that we have are paid time off programs. Uh, we want employees to take the time. 
We want employees to be able to pursue their interests, their hobbies, um, whether that's hiking or biking or swimming or spending time with friends and families, whatever that is. Um, you know, we want people to rest and recharge and, and keep them from burning out. I think work-life balance is important because employees need time to recharge and refocus. Some of us have great ideas when we're outside of these four walls. You know, when we're on vacation, when we leave for lunch, um, it leads to, you know, better focus. I know if I leave um, at lunch, I may come back and I'm, I'm recharged. I'm ready to, to conquer that afternoon. Um, you know, what happens at work is important. What happens outside of work is more important. What's most important to me outside of work is spending time with my family. I have two children. I have a 12 and a 15 year old. They're both very active. Uh, we spend a lot of time at, you know, ball fields, whether it's the soccer field or the baseball field, a lot of time. And it's fun. My children are, are growing older and they're not gonna be um, in my house for that much longer. And I want them to know that while they're here, that they're my most important priority, that they matter so much to me.